hello everyone welcome back to my channel today it's going to be a short video because i am having a little bit of a skin allergy problem right now so i thought what better time to try out stuff that is from the kitchen where i don't have to show my face anyway today we'll be focusing on the magical stainless steel cookware kitchen cleaner or I just call it as the Korean cleaning paste. I don't know if you guys have heard of this before. Apparently, even a Norwex has a cleaning paste on its own as well. And I think in the European countries, in the US as well, they have this thing called a pink paste or the pink stuff, I, I believe. I'm not, I don't remember. But anyway, those things apparently is quite similar to this. On Shopee, it says that it's like hot selling cake kind of shit there's a lot of like pictures before and after pictures where it helps to remove build up grease stain rust and scale and also oxidation watermarks inks corrosion scuff marks permanent marker and much more supposed to be naturally plant formula non-toxic odor free yeah supposed to be really great to clean pots specifically like really dirty pots i wouldn't recommend you to use this on non-stick pans to be honest especially the inside of non-stick pans the smell of this is actually quite nice like it has a, a pretty light pleasant scent and I really don't mind the scent at all the texture of this is very obviously pasty basically it feels like sandpaper but in paste kind of form it feels like sand is almost like kinetic sand ish kind of feeling it comes with a sponge already and sponge is actually not the best quality to be honest but i guess it kind of works i'm also not sure if the way that i use it is correct or not but anyway this is how i kind of use this i will pretty much wet this sponge and then i will squeeze out as much water from the sponge pretty much just leave the sponge damp and then after that just pick up some of the paste with the sponge and go over the marks that you want to clean and go over the places or surfaces that you want to clean i've actually used this already i've used this before on my the bottom part the basically the crumb collector of my oven that pan i didn't mind scratching this pan because it's literally just a crumb collector i went ham and i used a lot of other things as well to try to clean that shit up but it doesn't seem to really work that well like the, the scrubbing like this paste actually helped a little bit to remove some parts of the like burn marks but there's some just cut really cut <laughs> it's just stick there forever already this is one of the things that i felt like when i was younger because i had this pan for a while i had this oven for a while now i felt like when i was younger i didn't really care too much <laughs> and i leave them forever before i actually clean them up anyway that aside i've also used this paste for my what do you call that the the oven rack the wire rack yeah that one actually works quite well like it really helps to remove those kind of like burn bits on the wire rack i actually like this paste for the oven wire rack this time around i was really holding this off because i don't no, it was gonna work. I love this pan. This pan is a Tuffle pan. It's actually for my mom. It's a gift for my mom. And yeah, this pan is really much used and I really care for it. So I'm I'm gonna be very uh, gentle with it. I'm not gonna go crazy on it. So after using this for a while, scrubbing it on my pot, I, I feel it's a little bit too abrasive. It's really like scratching the surface and I really don't wanna scratch like crazy because it really looks like it's just leaving scratch marks. I mean, my pen is really not the worst, to be honest. It's all right. I don't think that it looks really, really burnt up because I don't use fire in this house. Whatever that I cook on, it's literally just a induction stove top and i only have one of those that's why the burn mark is not as crazy obviously if i can try to remove the stain from the back that would be great but this one just doesn't seem like it works that well for this type of burn mark and i've also tried to use like a brush obviously that didn't work it's not the best option to be honest i don't think this will help much even if you leave it on it's not one of those items where it has like super chemical stuff where you leave it on and then it will kind of melt the burnt mark away i believe this paste will work well on other surfaces if you have surfaces where you feel like it's just way too precious you probably won't want to use this but i do believe that you can use this on like uh, your floors or whatever else surfaces that is not as precious as your pot or non-stick pen basically all right so that's my thought of this paste you can actually buy this off shopee i bought this off shopee there's a lot of sellers selling this feel free to find the cheapest one
That's all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Don't forget to like and subscribe!